Hello everybody, a very good afternoon to everyone out there. I'm Preksha Sharma, your English educator at An Academy, and I welcome you all to this very particular session, guys. Hi everyone, how are you all doing, guys? I'm Preksha Sharma. A warm welcome to everybody out there. Hi Chanchal, hi stranger, hello Muskan, hi everybody, good afternoon. Um, you are Muskan Vishwakarma. All right, hi everyone, hi Kanishka, hi Chanchal, hi Muskan. Hi Amya, hello guys, hi Isha, a very good afternoon people, I hope everybody is doing super great, right? Hi Kartik, hi Tanisha, I'm very well, thank you so much, I hope that you're good too. Hi Ritek, hi everybody, welcome to the very class. So students, we are going to have Menti today and I'm sure you guys know that what exactly is the topic of Menti. The topic is prefixes and suffixes. These things, they, I mean prefix and suffix, they are very, very important, all right. They are, uh, they are a part of your vocabulary. So there are a lot of prefixes and a lot of suffixes. So I have now made questions on the basis of the fact to check that how many of you know how do we use the prefixes and suffixes. So stay tuned for the entire session. Also share the link of this very particular session with all your friends right away so that a lot of students can come in, they can join and we will have a rocking competition among everybody hi everyone good afternoon good afternoon guys i'm very well thank you so much i hope that everybody is good too all right people now moving ahead let me give a very brief introduction about myself guys i'm preksha sharma your english educator at an academy and students for the past few years i've been guiding a lot of students to become super amazing in their communication and conversational skills okay and to also score good marks in their academics i'm sure that i'm going to help each one of you with this as well so make sure that you guys are definitely following me all right make sure that you guys are dedicatedly attending all my classes because in all my sessions i keep on giving certain tips which are very very important for your actual career career as in i'm talking in the context of like being very fluent in english okay you know english is one of the languages which is actually a very very uh, like demanding language in terms of the fact that it's a global language so make sure everybody is following me perfectly hi everyone hi good afternoon guys hi good afternoon everybody welcome so students you know that we have got 10 percent off on an academy plus so students if you have not yet subscribed make sure you are taking the subscription on time and you are actually going for the best okay and we have got this telegram channel wherein your very group is an academy 9 and 10 so students my personal suggestion to everybody is please go and join this very particular group because it's especially for all of you this is live daily dot me slash chat okay don't miss out the opportunity because all your educators they keep on sharing the updated information about all the sessions that they are coming up with on this very particular platform so don't miss it okay people and students there's this news for all the grade 9 students you know <clears throat> you will find me on plus now so guys the batch is already going on okay you have different educators Hardik sir Santosh sir Sapna ma'am I am also there in Bhavna ma'am so now make sure that you guys are definitely enrolling you guys are taking the subscription by using my code PSH10 and let's study together guys do not miss the opportunity of studying together okay use my code PSH10 and let's sail together all right and the next batch is going to start from 14 June guys make sure that you guys are definitely following me all right you will get all the updates only and only if you download the app and you take the subscription and you keep on following me dedicatedly all right people okay what is suffix and prefix i'll tell you all right don't be worried about it good afternoon people good afternoon and an academy emerge guys this is super amazing i'm sure that you guys have enrolled into this this is india's largest free aptitude test which is for classes 6 to 12 okay timings i mean it is going to take place on 20th of june right at 12 pm so make sure you are just blocking your calendar for this because you will have 30 aptitude questions on verbal ability logical reasoning and mental reasoning and these things are super important guys when it comes to your professional examinations i mean when you guys are going to appear for for your professional entrance examinations after your school all these things are going to help you all super greatly okay and this is going to be a 60 minute challenge for the students from 9 to 12 and 45 minutes challenge for the students from 6 to 8 so make sure you're definitely taking part in this and absolutely no preparation is needed guys you can attempt and win prizes worth 5 crore so students this is literally amazing because we are giving like scholarship and mega prizes like macbook iphone ipad exciting goodies certificates trophies and much more so there is a lot guys make sure that you are definitely appearing for it because this will really help you all to grow in a super great manner 
all right people and then students i'm sure that you guys had enrolled till 7th of june if you had not done this then i cannot say anything about this but make sure that you guys are always following an academy so perfectly people get in connection with an academy expert in case if you want any of the information so all right always make sure that whatever combats are taking place and the india's largest quizzes are taking place make sure you de you guys definitely enroll because we were giving prizes for the people who had actually enrolled as well there were lucky winners prizes as well all right people now what's new with us ask a doubt you know you can ask us unlimited doubts at any time you will get high quality video solution in english and hindi you will receive exact matches for the question or you will obtain instant and accurate solution to lakhs of questions and you will get assistance with your homework as well all right step one is click on ask a doubt feature in the given app then step two is take a picture or choose from gallery choose from gallery and step three is like you have to click or select a picture of your very particular question okay then step 4 is crop it to highlight one specific question okay step 5 is choose a subject that the question falls under if it's math or science and then step 6 is set tight you'll receive the solution okay make sure you guys are going for the best guys because we are providing a lot to everybody so post only one doubt at once post clear legible images capture all the sub options of the mcq if a question is any sub part post them separately post printed text directly from a book or soft copy and post doubts using an academy app only do not post multiple doubts in a single image and do not post handwritten questions blood images or incomplete questions all right okay you are also sharma technical guru high five high five to you all right people so what are the features you know that an academy offers you all a lot of features you get to learn life from the comfort of your home unlimited access to the courses top educators of india would be guiding you regular doubt clearing sessions exhaustive coverage of the entire syllabus mentorship and guidance study material would be given in the form of pdf practice test live test series and batch courses so you will have daily practice sessions weekly mock test series live quizzes daily mcq and subjective test series what else you need people all right so we are going to give you all a lot there are different plans you guys can go for any plan that suits you all the best but make sure guys that you are definitely choosing the best my personal suggestion is go for a longer tenure for example if you guys go for 24 months the cost is 25000 and using my code which is psh10 will make it 22500 for all of you so select the best guys before it's too late and we have this new academic year offer which is valid till 13 june so if you guys are in the list of first thousand subscribers we are going to give you free cbse subscription and if you're in the list of first 500 subscribers we are going to give you free creative corner subscription so it will depend on the plan that you have already chosen or right, let's say if you went for 24 months so you are going to get 24 months plus six months if you're in the list of first thousand subscribers but if you're in the list of first uh 500 subscribers you are going to get uh like 24 months along with that six months of free cbse subscription and along with that six months of free creative creative corner subscription and lifetime for your young coder subscription so students this is superb right amazing go for the best guys hi everyone hello welcome to the session so iconic guys like personalized attention will be there live doubt solving sessions weekly reports parent connect things study planner and all benefits of an academy subscription would also be a part of your iconic subscription so you have to choose the best for yourself guys whatever is best go for it all right so you can discuss it with your parents or with whomsoever you want to discuss it about. My personal suggestion again is go for longer tenure because that is way more beneficial. So guys, if you go for 66,000, you, you have to use my code PSH10, then it will be 59,400 and pretty easy for all of you to just get onto the very right track. So students use my code, which is like PSH10 for all of you, avail 10% discount and come and we are going to study together. So for Iconic, again, we have this thing. If you're in the list of first 1,000 subscribers, you are going to get free CBSE subscription. And if you're in the list of first 500 subscribers, you are going to get free Creative Corner subscription. Again, these things depend on what? These things depend upon the plan that you have already chosen. All right. And this is valid only till 13th June. All right, people. So before it's too late, go for it. And this is happening for the first time that we are providing you all these benefits on Plus as well as Iconic. So make sure that before it's too late and before 13th June just goes away, make sure you are in the list of first thousand subscribers or first 500 subscribers and avail all the benefits very very clearly people okay
Now, anybody can be a subscriber on An Academy Plus. You have to use my code PSH10 after selecting Pay in Parts option in your payment method. Let's say if the amount is fifteen thousand, it will be divided into two parts at seventy five hundred and three parts five thousand each. So the amount is going to be nominal. In case you think that the amount is not really like suiting you, okay? So you can pay in parts only for the subscription for more than two months. Talk to An Academy expert right today because we have zero cost EMIs and PSH10 is the code. So you know ten percent off is on An Academy. Plus and Iconic subscription PSH10 is the code. Download the app right today because all the plus courses and the special classes have been scheduled. Follow me there for sure and try all of the features for free. PSH10 is the code, guys. Let's crack it the right way. Now we are entering into our mentee, guys. Make sure that you all are prepared for it. So before students here, um, what exactly is the code? The code here is your three double zero one six seven nine one. All right, this is your code, everybody. Go for it, guys, and tell me that what do you understand by prefix or suffix? Does anyone know the meaning of prefix and suffix? Yes, guys. Can anyone tell me the meaning of uh, prefix and suffix? What do you mean by this? Because this is really, really very important, guys, from the point of view of your vocabulary. All right, there are a lot of prefixes and suffixes which, when you add or delete from any of the words, the meaning changes completely. So they are basically there in terms of telling you something that needs to be done again, or something that needs to be like uh, deleted out, or something like you are talking in the context of opposite things. Then that is. What what your prefix or suffix is all right yes guys come on tell me prefix is the letter we put before any word changes its meaning ritika that's very good i really appreciate that that is very right and that's right ritika kanishka letter or group of words that you put at the beginning of a word to change its meaning that is very right i agree to that very good hi alka hello welcome to the very session so we have suffix comes after the word all right okay prefix is used before which modifies the meaning of the word all right rupita the nation the code is 3001-6791 okay and okay ski all right uh, good afternoon i'm vedika hi vedika hello like uh, lakha this is a an english star class so i prefer to speak in english okay Okay, you are both journal electro. So come on, students, join in and ask a lot of students to come in and join this very particular session because this is literally going to be super helpful for everyone out there. Yes, Tanya, I'm going to start in a bit. I can see that only ninety five students are in so far. Let others join and then we can go ahead with this. All right, hi Roshni, hi Neha, hi Ratika, hello everybody. Hi guys, come on, share the link with all your friends, call all your friends, okay? Because this is really one of the very important sessions in terms of your mentee. Because you guys would come to know that if you actually understand that what is a prefix and what is a suffix, all right? This is really really important to understand, guys. Hi, I'm well. I think it's Kavya. Yes, Kavya, I'm very well. Thank you so much. Tan, I'm really sorry, but I don't think I remember you. all right okay 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 all right people so i can see a lot of students i can see the number of students uh is 100 as of now suffix is the word that we put at the end of the word that's right ritika i totally agree with you on that hi everybody okay guys hi khushi hi parveen hello people all right kanishka if you join that's good guys So I want a lot of students to come in. Come on, I can see only hundred and four students in Menti right now, and here I can see hundred and eighteen students. Why is it? Are you guys not interested in joining it? Come on, guys. These things they are very very important. Okay. Yes, Manoj, you are right about that. If we talk in Hindi, that's okay. All right. Hi, Kashish. Hello. All right. All right, Tanya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember you. So your full name is Tanya Tiwari. Now I'll remember you. Okay. There is no need to worry about it. Now I will definitely remember you. Okay, Nikita. I'm just waiting. Come on, students. Come on, come on, come on. Prefix are the words that um are added after a word. No, 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 Silky. All right, students. Let me tell you all. Okay, prefix. Uh, they are like set of words which are added before the word in order to change the meaning of any given word. All right. For example, if I'm saying reheat. Okay, so my word is heat, but I'm adding a prefix re before it. All right. So that means I have to heat it again. 
okay so it changed the entire meaning of the word so that is the motive of your prefixes and suffixes all right for example if i'm uh, like telling you if i talk about anything else for example if i'm saying fearless all right so fear you know that somebody is scared of something all right unless if i'm adding to it like the very last word which is acting as a suffix so i've added one word at the end which is a suffix that is now changing the meaning of the entire word that means i am without fear i have no fear i'm not scared of anything right people clear yes the code is three double zero one six seven nine one all right people I hope that's clear. Good afternoon, everybody. So now I'm moving ahead with the menti guys. Here I go with the very first question. All right. Okay. Now I'm moving ahead. I can see 120 students. They are already in. I'm very well. What is suffix? Manorma suffix is the word that you add at the very end of the word. All right. For example, if I'm telling you fearless. Okay. So fear is one word, but I am adding less to it. That means that you are without any fear. All right. So suffixes are the words that are basically the group of letters you can say that are added at the end of any word in order to change the meaning of the word. All right. Is that clear now? Hi, my uncle. Hello. All right, people. Now I'm moving ahead with our mentee. All right. A lot of students are, I think they are now really very much eager to get into it. Okay. I move ahead now. All right. Has the first question right in front of you all. And let me see that who is going to do it correctly. And this is very right. We just discussed it. A uh, prefix is letters that come at the dash of a word. End, top or beginning. Very easy. I can only expect the right answers from all of you. Right. Not that difficult. Right, everybody. Hi, Harry Potter. Hello, C. All right, Ratika. Everybody is saying C. Let me see if C is actually the correct answer or not. Here we go. Time is up. Okay, so 85 students. Very good. All right, students. It, it doesn't come at the end or top. That is wrong. It comes at the very beginning. All right. Here we now have a look at the very leaderboard. All right. So here we go. First is Terry Gupta, then Jeswin, then Dhruv, then Short there. All right. Quite a different name. Okay. So uh, it's so hard there. Okay. Then Anika, welcome to the leaderboard. Then Ritika, welcome. And Vansh, Yashi, Lakshya Seni from 10th grade and Lalit. Great, guys. So it was pretty easy. Guys, you must know prefixes and suffixes because they have a very important role in your professional examinations later in your future as well. So Rohan's brother is thinking of going back to university and taking a dash graduate course, undergraduate course, postgraduate course or pre-graduate course. What exactly is the right thing here? Hi, Nandani. Hello. Welcome to the very class. B, all right, people are saying, hi, Prashanta, Prasanta, sorry, welcome to the class. So very good students, we are not going to write undergraduate here because we have to understand the context of the given sentence. Here it says, Rohan's brother is thinking of going back to university. So that means he already had done one of the courses and now it is talking about postgraduate. So students here, I would like to tell you all what is the meaning of post, like what is the meaning of the very prefix post. Come on anybody can anyone tell me what is the meaning of the prefix post yes guys that's okay lakshman you can still join tanya that's right that's right so it is not going to be under it's not even going to be pre-graduate because pre means before all right and that is not right here we have to be contextual every time all right after yeah so students this must be clear to all of you whenever you see any words which uh, like any word which has got post as the very prefix okay to any of the words that basically mean that you're talking about after it okay so 82 students very good look at the leaderboard people here we go so now teddy dhruv sodaria sorry so and then tejal then tanya tiwari yes now i remember you okay tanya you are the fourth position Okay, so the entire list has changed in terms of like the positions of the student, Dhruv and Sohardya, then Teddy, then Tanya, then Mohamed Umar. Welcome to the very leaderboard. And Tejal, Akshat, Laksh, Nishant and Nishtha Goyal. That's good, guys. Next question for everybody out there. All right, here we go. Okay, Vanshika, I welcome you here. Okay, question number three now. Okay, here we go. Just look at the question, everyone. One shouldn't eat chicken that is dash cooked. All right. What exactly is going to be the right answer? That is miscooked, that is ill cooked, or that is undercooked. What exactly it is going to be here? Yes, everyone. C. 
All right, students, you know, like understanding the meaning of the word is more important. Time is up, people. Very good. No, students, whenever we talk about undercooked, I mean, whenever we are talking about any of the things which is not cooked properly, the correct word is undercooked. That is, it is not completely cooked. It is not miscooked. That is wrong. All right. It is always undercooked. So now what do you mean by under in the given context? Like undercooked, what does it mean? Something that is not cooked completely. All right, so you see that how the prefixes, they are changing the meaning of any word, right? 74 students, very good. You guys knew it well. These things they are very important, people. Prefixes and suffixes, you guys must know them. It's good for your vocabulary generation. Basically, good for your own vocabulary tank. All right, so I can see some new set of students here. Dhruv, then Tanya, you are at the second position. That's good. Then Metal, and then Nishta, then Vansh, then Kavya, then Komal. Lak Shamran and Abel. That's good people. So I can see some new students. They are coming in. That's really appreciative. Yes, not cooked completely. <clears throat> not properly. That's very right people. Question number four for everybody right on your screen. Here we go. What is the root or base word in the word prehistoric? Okay, just listen to, I mean, just uh, read the question carefully. What is the root or base word in the word prehistoric? Is it historic? Is it pre? Or you can say both. What exactly is the right answer here? Oh my God, Pyle. Just don't try to be late, guys. You know my sessions take place right at 2 o'clock. And also, students, listen to me very carefully. I have another mentee today wherein we are going to deal with slangs, all right? Internet slangs, all right? So I'll be asking you very interesting questions. Make sure that you guys are definitely attending that, all right? It's going to take place at 4.30 right today. Be right there. It's going to be fun, okay? All right, historic. So what do you mean by this? What do you mean by the base word as in the main word? Okay, pre is something that is acting as a prefix and it is not the main or root word because that has an uh, that that is working as an addition. All right, people. So whenever somebody says and asks that what is the root or base word in the given word, then you have to look at the main word there. All right, let's have a look at the leaderboard people. Miss click Tanya. Don't do that. Related to history. That's right. Okay. That's very right. So here we go. And Dhruv is at the first position. Great. Then Metal. Then Amran. Then Abel. Then Teddy is the fastest one. Great. Then Yeshi. Then Pragna. Tejal. Ryansh. All right. And Soham. So I can see new students here. Hi, Ryansh. Are you the same Ryansh who attends this uh, special class or the plus class? All right, people. This is for both 9th and 10th, guys. Vocabulary is always for everybody, right? Anybody can do that. Harry Potter, the next session is going to take place right at 4.30 today itself. All right. Keep yourself updated, guys. You'll get all the information right on the very uh, channel, Unacademy 9 and 10. Don't miss that out, okay? Tanya felt it was unfair that she got in trouble for breaking the statue, but her sister didn't. The word unfair means what here? Very fair, not fair, totally fair. So you understand what here. What does the very prefix un, un tells you? What does it tell you? Yes, guys. Hi, who said hello? Hi, Pailmina. Hello. Yeah, so what is the meaning of uh, the very prefix un here? Come on, tell me. All right, you're not same, Ryansh. All right, fine. Okay, so B is the right answer. That's right, not fair. So what do you exactly understand by the word unhair? What do you mean by that? I mean by the prefix. Un means not. That's very good, Ritika. I really appreciate that. Yes, Shubham, that's very right. So can you come up with another words, guys? Come on, come up with certain words wherein we see that the prefix un has been used. Not fair. That's very right, people. That's very right, everybody. Not is the right answer. So now come up with the words. Uh, basically, Mayang, this is from the point of view of your vocabulary generation. Because you know what? Like you never know if you have to use any of the words related to prefixes and suffixes in your answer sheet. So you guys must know this, all right? So like vocabulary is always from everybody's point of view. Unusual, okay. Unhappy, uncomfortable, unexpected. Very good. Uncomplete. No, 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 Tanya. That's wrong. That's wrong. That is not right. That is not right. Okay. Unhappy, unhealthy. That is right. Okay. All right. Unfavorable. That's good. Uneducated. That's very good. Okay. All right. Unstable. Okay. Untouched. Very, very good. So you guys know, okay, whenever we are adding the prefix un, this basically means not. Okay. Look at the leaderboard, everybody. All the students are super intelligent. Unable. That's very good. 
Incomplete is right, okay? There we are dealing with the word. I mean, not you cannot just go with the prefix un with every bit, every other word. So, Dhruv is the fastest one. Great, then Metal, then Abba, then Teddy, Amran, Yashi, Tejal, Rayaj, Gayatri, Soham. I can see some new set of students here. Welcome to the leaderboard, people. Sixth question for everybody right on your screen. Uh, screen. Unjustified, unable, unfortunate. That's guys. That's very right. Oh my god. Mank, you are being intelligent in giving the answer. Unacademy. All right okay unfortunately that's very right good so seven more seconds here the prefix re like in the word reload means what does it mean again not or before what does it mean people again 122 students very good that is really amazing okay the word re usually means again all right come on come up with certain words wherein you guys are telling me about this very particular uh, use of prefix as well Come on, come on, come on, guys. You guys can do this. All my students are super intelligent. They know this so well, right? Okay, people, come on. Let's do it. What are the different... Hey, everybody, you are right. Unconscious. Yeah, Manorma, that's very right. Uneducated, that's right. Unrelease, that's right. Replay, that's good. Reuse. Retain is not the right word. That's a proper word in itself, okay? Like here, like whenever we are adding prefix, the another word has to be a proper word. So retain is not the correct word because tain is not a word here, all right? Reload, okay? Restore is right. Replay is right. Regroup is right, okay? Reform is right. And refresh is right, okay, restart is right, restore is right, rewrite, good. So, everybody knows, all right. Reorganization is not correct, okay, it's, it should make some sense, all right. This is not making any sense. And regame is also not right, replay is right, recycle is right, okay. React is very right, Ritika, because act is a word in itself and that is why we are adding re before it. So, that really makes some sense. Okay, rematch is not arranged, rearrange is very right, refresh, recurring is not the right word here because curring is not a word, all right. As I said, students like prefixes, they are usually added to the words which have meaning in themselves, all right. We add re, like we add prefix or suffix in order to change the meaning. Rearrange, repeat, okay, received is not right, that's a word in itself, okay, that is not working as a mm, prefix there. Reboot is fine, all right. Recycle is cool, Shubham, that's very right. Return is fine, all right. Okay, rewrite, that's right. Unique, Chetna. So, you guys know it, that's very right. Reproduce, that is good. Retake, that's fine. Very good. Regenerate, very nice. Research, reuse, remind. Reactive, that's very good, people. Very, very good, very good. All right, so you guys know it, okay. No, recarnation is not the right word, Laksha, because recarnation is a word in itself, all right. And here we cannot talk about adding re. So Dhruv is at the first position again. Metal, then Abal, Teddy, Yeshi is the fastest one. Tejal, Soham, Rayanj, Gayatri, and Pragna. Very good, Pragna. I think that you're the new one here. So welcome to the leaderboard, people. Refund, that's right. Okay, I can see a lot of you know this. Really is not correct. Pankaj, really is not correct. Okay. All right, next question. Rearrange, recool. No, no, no. That is also. No, no, that's right. Sorry. Recool is fine. All right, Tanya and Shyam disagreed on what TV show to watch. That means they what? Agreed again, didn't agree or did agree. What exactly? Disagreed. Agreed is a word in itself. This is the prefix that is added before the word. What does it mean? Reuse. Okay, B. 130 students, very good. So, what do you understand by the term this here? This is something that is showing that you are not agreeing to something here. All right. Anybody, come on. So, students, come up with the words now. Disagreed. Come up with the words with this. How all, uh, I mean, what all words can we use? Didn't agree is right. Reagree, that is right. Okay. Dislike, that is cool, fine. And disease, no, no, no. Ishan, students, listen to me very carefully. Your prefix and suffix, they basically are added words, okay? They are added words to the words which have all, which are already meaningful. Okay, people? Dislike, discomfort, disease is not right. Disappointed is right. Discomfort is right. Disappear is right. Dismissed is right. Disarrange is fine. Dislike, disappoint is cool, okay? Discuss is not right, Kritika. Because cuss is not a word, okay? C-U double S is not a word which is meaning, which has got its own meaning. So that is why we cannot do this. Here the meaning of this is something that basically tells you that you are not in favor. It's an opposite of the given word. 
all right for example if i am saying i agreed to this okay i then the another person is saying i am disagreeing so that means that that is the opposite when you add this to any word that is showing the opposition all right people disappear is right discomfort is like discovered that is right disgrace is right okay so when you are saying disgrace that means the opposite of grace right disconnect means the opposite of connect right disability that is very right disable is right disgrace is right Okay, so I can see the same words now. No other different word is coming. Come on, people. Display. No, no, no. That is not right, Tukaram. Uh, that is not right because I, I can understand that play has meaning in itself. But display is a word in itself. All right. That is that you're showcasing something. All right. For example, if I'm saying there's display of all the paintings. All right. Disconnect, discontinue, disobedience. That's right. Dishonest is right. Discourage is right. Okay dispense is not right because that's a word in itself all right that is not right this guy is that is fine okay that's quite acceptable okay dispute is okay all right dissimilar that's fine this fame no that's not right all right so you guys know it well okay so please understand that this works as in as something that is now going to make the word opposite of what is already mentioned okay so now I see Dhruv is the fastest one, then Metal, then Abel, then Teddy, then Yashi, then Tejal, Soham, Rayash, Pragna, and Gayatri. Great, guys. Moving to the next one now. Here we go. Let's have a look. Disability, that is right. Disqualified disclaimer. No, disclaimer is a word in itself, guys. Question number eight, right in front of you all. Displays, dismiss. Okay. A suffix is letters that come at the dash of the word. All right. So beginning, end, or top. I can only expect the right answers here. This allow, that's right. Okay. All right. So, five more seconds for everybody out there. Let's see if you guys know it well. Time is up. Here we go. All right. 114 students were really aware of it. I really appreciate this. Very, very good people. It comes at the end of the word. Okay. And the word must be like having its own individual meaning as well. Okay. So is at the first position is Dhruv, then Metal, then Abal, then Teddy, then Tejal, then Soham, Pragnya, Gayatri, Shivdeep, and Trishi. Welcome to the leaderboard. I can see some new students here. Question number nine for everybody right here on your screen. Here we go. The suffix less like in the word shameless means what? Okay, now it's a, you see shame is a word in itself. And if I'm adding the suffix less to it, what does it actually show? Like without shame, with shame, or you can say both. Come on, pretty easy. Disown. Yeah, disown is fine. That's very right, okay? That's right. All right, so 115 students, very good, okay? So you see that when you're adding the suffixes, it changes the very meaning of the word. Right, look at the leaderboard. Here we go. Yeah, A is the right answer. So, Dhruv is at the first position. Then, Metal, Abul, Teddy, Tejal, Pragnya, Gayatri, Shivdeep, Trishi. Okay, no, after Gayatri, Zia, Shivdeep, and Trishi. Zia, welcome to the leaderboard. I see you new here. I hope that you guys are really liking it, people. Discord, no, 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 that's a word in itself, all right? That is not the thing. Tasteless, that's very right. That's very right. You have formed a good sentence, a word. Very good. Meaningless, that's also right. Very good. Useless is very right. Careless is very right. The word unchangeable has a prefix, a suffix, or you can say both a, a, both a prefix and a suffix. Look at the word so carefully. Look at the root of the word, okay? What is the base word here? And then check if it has got prefix or suffix or both. All right, let me see. Okay, all right. So this was really expected, guys. Able, A-B-L-E is also a suffix. You see the root word here is change, okay? And prefix is your un and suffix is your able. Guys, make sure that you're sure about this, that uh, the root word, the main word is change, but we are adding prefix and suffix. Two different things are also being added to it. Okay, so 49 students, very good. I hope that you guys actually looked at the given question. Right, that's right, the Anand, very, very good. Right, everybody. Okay, that's right, Apurva, very good. Unreasonable, that's good, guys, Ishika. Come on, students, come up with these words where you see that two, two, like uh, your prefix as well as suffix, they have been used. Come on, can you all tell me? unreasonable unrecognizable that's good metal very good come on guys displacement is correct karima for the very prefix this that is correct okay unemployment 
here i only see un okay employment is a word in itself all right but yes if you're talking in the very context of meant we can we may consider it okay unpredictable unstable no that is just one thing okay st that is not a word i am talking about the fact that there must be a word in between all right if you are using un and able okay un in the beginning and able at the end unemployment you may consider that unchanged that's not right unacceptable that is very right because accept is a word in itself all right and fortunate that's very good tanisha we have un as a prefix here and li as a, a suffix here that's good unpredictable is un that's very very right okay unbearable that's right unfortunate again neelam here only one prefix has been used which is un all right unchanged no here only one prefix has been used unpredictable unconnected again just one prefix guys just try to use the words wherein you see uninstaller that is correct that is very right fatima because we have er all right at the end and un is the prefix that's very right so you guys know it well great guys okay just look at the leaderboard people here we go so Dhruv is at the first position, then I have Metal, then I have Abal, then Teddy, then Tejal, Pragnya, Gayatri, Shadeep, Jeswin. Oh God. Alright, so the position of Abal has been changed. He has uh, like come to the very last position. So after Metal, metal we have Himanshu and Abal. Great people. So now next question guys. This is going to be the 11th question. So you have given me the word. Unfaithful, that's very right, Bhatika. Unprotected is not right. Unforgettable is right. Unaffordable is right. That's very good. Okay, that's very good. Unconditional, uncondition, null. That is right. Okay, that is right. Shivdeep, unconditional is right. Now this very particular question. Monica spoke loudly in class. The suffix li means what? Full of in a loud way or able to do something. That's very good. Eighty three students. Very very good. So now come up with uh, such words wherein we are adding ly at the end. Come on, people. Unthinking is not right. The karam. That's not right. Okay. That's not right. Oh my God, Muskan, why did you misclick? So Dhruv is at the first position. Anne is the first. Is one then Pragnya, Gayatri, Shivdeep, Akshat, Lakshay, Abal, Teddy, Pranita, and Tejal. Fine, that's very right. Okay, let's move to the next question. Usefully, no, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. Sweetly, that is right. Happily is right. Okay, unfortunately, it's right. Okay, loudly, sweetly, strictly, silly. No, no, no. Silly is a word in itself. Okay, sil is not a word that you are adding ly to it. All right carelessly unlovely no 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 that's not right beautifully that's right okay unsuccessfully pavan it is unsuccessfully fluently that's right sadly is right lonely is right okay and slowly quickly badly usually calmly all right okay 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 fluently is right from leish that's right clearly lonely very good silly no 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 that is completely wrong that is not right okay you cannot add the suffixes or prefixes, uh, prefixes to everybody calmly that's right unpleasantly that is right okay okay her sister works for a dash national company it has offices in over 30 countries okay now just make sure that you guys are going for the right option seven more seconds for everybody right in front of you all slowly temporarily that's right okay unpleasantly that's right extremely recently all right students so 27 students very good here we are going to talk about multinational companies because what do you mean by multi multi means many okay and here the next part of the sentence is telling you what it has offices in over 30 countries so that means it has offices in many countries so multi means many so you are going to mention multi here and not international all right why because inter is something that is dealing with something within your domain but here this is not the case here the case is talking about the fact that it had like it has offices in over 30 countries all right people is it clear to everybody all right no problem okay fine i understand power cut okay is it clear guys multi-talented yes that's right that's right multitasking that is right so look at the leaderboard everybody dhruv is at the first position then pragnya then guy three then abul then lakshay tejal anika shaddeep kav is the fastest one welcome to the leaderboard and akshat great i can see some new set of students here multi-cellular yeah that's right that's right okay Question number 13, people. Now, this is going to be the next question for everybody. Let's say my dad was very dash satisfied with the service at the restaurant. Okay. So, what is it? Okay. Is it unmiss or this? What is it? Unsatisfied or missatisfied or dissatisfied? What exactly is the right one here? 
come on come on come on all right here we go time is up people and unsatisfied all right here the correct answer is dissatisfied okay you never say unsatisfied you always say dissatisfied i just did a question related to this and still i'm getting wrong answers no guys this is really not acceptable 33 students very very good all right we always say that i'm really dissatisfied you never say i'm unsatisfied that is wrong even if somebody is saying that that is wrong all right now the next thing okay look at the leaderboard so let me see that who really rocked it okay so we have dhruv at the first position then it's pragna then gayatri no after dhruv we have abal who's the first is one gayatri pragna anika kavya akshad lakshay tejal montana so students like the new students welcome to the leaderboard next question uncomfortably right question number 14 for everybody right on your screen guys okay the handwriting of the work was very poor and much of it had to be dashed on so is it redone undone or pre-done what is it just make sure that you guys understand the context of the given sentence and accordingly you will have to use the sentence word here all right people is it a redone really are you sure okay let me see time is up redone 88 students very good i don't think it needs any kind of explanation so we are now checking the leaderboard people all right here we go redone that's very right that's very right so dhruv is at the first position and is the fastest one then abal gaitri pragna anika kavya akshat lakshim montana and tejal great guys super great very nice now this is going to be the last question of the mentee okay as i said don't forget to attend the mentee at 4 30 which is going to deal with internet slangs let me see how many of you are well versed with all the slangs okay all right which suffix can you add to the word reason to make a new word is it full iron or we say able what is it very easy question for everybody okay all right 92 students have given the very right answer that's really amazing people so let's see that who won this minty today all right so i can see that dhruv is at the very first position and he wanted the noble guy three pragna anika kavya akshat lakshay montana and Tejal. So guys, this was really good. You all did well. Students, make sure that you understand the prefixes and suffixes. They are very, very important. So now in the very common section, I want five words, which should be the very mix of your prefixes and suffixes words. All right. Just five words with any, I mean, any prefix that you want or any suffix that you want. Just five words. All right. I'll be checking everybody's comment and I'm definitely going to announce it in the very next class, which I'll be taking a. Uh, i mean no not today i mean the next class that is the different day either tomorrow or on sunday i'm going to actually announce the name so make sure that you guys are definitely writing five words all right which is going to be a mix of your prefix words and your suffix words all right people next mentee is going to take place today right at 4 30 be right there all right okay guys take care bye bye stay safe and just make sure you guys are studying well take care guys bye bye thank you so much